too. That's what she said. <laughs> the first day a minister, a new minister came to a church I used to go to, and uh, he was shaking hands with, this is not my story. story. <laughs> He was shaking hands <laughs> with everybody. <laughs> and I was near the first in the line, and he said, my name is Richard, what's yours? And I walked up to him, and here's this whole line of first day, you know, welcoming everybody behaves a new minister day. And uh, he said, my name is Richard, what's yours? And I said, Elliot, it means high priest of God. And I'm doing this in his face while I say it. It means high priest of God, so watch out. <laughs> and the, there's no good punchline to this because he, got, he said something that absolutely floored me, almost literally. And neither of us the next week could remember what he said. Because it was all this stuff going on. But he got me, and it was beautiful. And... I told him imagine the, good the next part. week I, yeah imagine the next week I told him I redid the story and I said we've got to remember what you said because I was always the little kid growing up and I was always the Indian who got shot or some in cowboys and Indians or something because I could fall over because I was little I didn't have that far to go and uh, and that's what I felt like when he zapped me which we with which we couldn't remember and uh, I would have, I felt like it anyway. Anyway, uh, at the time it happened, uh, he got me really good. And I said, right up again like this, I said, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like you. I think I'm going to like you. And I started walking, and that SOB <laughs> said, Elliot, I'm going to wait and see about you. So he, and that was the end of it. It was beautiful. It just got me at the knees with a saber and was going back. Anyway, now you spoil my whole mood with that. Uh, words. Uh, words can be beautiful and make us feel deeply and move us. They can be sweet and lovely. And they also can be powerful in all kinds of ways. And this is a story which actually is told over and over again right here in Portland. And I'm going to act it. Mom, Dad, I'm gay. Pack your things and get out of this house! That's it. That's the end of the story. Uh, and it packs a big emotion. They're called throwaway kids. They have some down at Preble Street. And they're around the world. And they're around Portland. And they're thrown away by their parents. And this is not nice. But get out of the house, you're gay, happens a lot. And uh, I just hope I never run into someone who did that because uh, I wouldn't use words. Mm -hmm. I had a foster son who thought he was gay and he tried to kill himself. Mm -hmm. So, but he made a good time. Mm -hmm. anyway, thank you. Wow, thank you.